Hello parents, my name is Mrs. McCormick and I am happy to be teaching your children in the College and Career Seminar this year. And so this seminar is basically Life Skills 101. We teach your kids how to be successful, not only in school, but also in life. So um, it's kind of a school work, life work guidance, a little bit of counseling, a little bit of goal setting, a little bit of Google, a little bit of keyboarding and um, college and career exploration so they can kind of have a direction of where they want to go. So um, the first one of the first things we start out doing is goal setting and goal meeting. It's one thing to have dreams and another thing to learn how to attain those dreams. So um, yeah, we just we just work on on becoming better at something. I encourage them to make part of their goal be school, um, but I allow them the flexibility to choose whatever goal they have. Um, if it's about cheerleading or BMX or YouTubing or you know whatever, because um, those skills that they learn with goal setting will transfer to other. Um, other areas. So um, other thing we work on is study skills. I am really passionate about teaching kids study skills because I was never really taught study skills. My teachers just taught and I didn't know how to really study on my own. Um, so I teach the kids not, I don't just I don't just use the techniques, I teach them how to use the techniques and them how, so they can learn how to teach themselves. So that's a really important skill if they're gonna be successful, especially in university, where university professors are not teaching you how to study. The expectation is by then you just know, need, you already know. Um, I didn't when I went to the university, I had no idea because my, my teachers never really taught me. They did, gave me worksheets and I filled them out and I didn't know why I did it. So I don't try to teach your kids the why. Um, other things that we do is computer skills and keyboarding. We spend some time on Google and um, there are keyboarding assignments to improve their keyboarding. And then we do college and career exploration so they can learn about what options there are for university and other options um, for community college and career um, options that they have and what what kind of education do they need to do what they want to do. OK, and the last one is financial skills, because your kids may have dreams of being a millionaire, but they don't have goals that go with that. So if if that's what they want to be, then they need to learn how to get there. So um, we work on financial skills and frankly, financial skills, whether you want to be a millionaire or whether you want to just get by are really important because ultimately um, finances help us fulfill the goals that um, we want to attain. So that's a little rundown of the class. Um, and then my expectations for your students. This is not a class that has a bunch of testing. It is mostly experiential. I want them to do the assignments and um, complete the projects. There'll be a couple small projects for them to do. But, you know, I may do some testing just to work on the study skills and and um, just to have um, some testing skills under their belt. But for the most part, this is not a class where we're doing a lot of testing. It's, it's a class for just um, um, emotional and mental growth. And um, so other things, as far as your kids late work, like if they do their work late, will I accept it? Yeah, I, I do, but I'll, there are some caveats for that. So if it takes me like after a due date, it'll take me about um, a week to get assignments graded and recorded on um, Student Connect, Parent Connect. And if they get the assignment done before I start recording, I don't take any points off. 
So that gives them a little buffer. I'm not saying depend on the buffer because, hey, I might get right to it. You never know. Um, but it does give them a little buffer. Now, if there is a big delay, uh, for example, a couple weeks out, the students go, oh my gosh, I missed that assignment and now my grade's an F and now I wanna make it up. Yeah, you can make it up, but you are going to suffer a significant point loss at that, at that point. It's still way better than a zero because, um, so they get half credit, so, yeah, 50%, that sounds bad, that's an F. Yeah, it is. Um, but a 50% is way better than a zero. So I do still um, encourage them to go ahead and do the assignment because um, zeros kill grades. And so that's something I wanna drive home to your, ki your kids is that zeros kill grades. That's another life skill and school skill is just that you gotta understand, you need to show up and do the work um, because zeros kill grades. So. Um, and then Zoom meetings are mostly just for check-in and questions. I am not gonna be lecturing on Zoom. I believe that Zoom is very fatiguing. Um, so I'm not gonna be lecturing on Zoom, but I will have check-in on Zoom and answer your kids' questions if they have any questions. And that will be at every regularly scheduled class time. Um, so there's no, oh, I did the work, so I don't have to check in. I, I toyed with that for like about five minutes, but it, it just didn't work out with this class. So um, they have to check in at Zoom to get their attendance counted. Okay, if you have any questions for me, make sure to email me.